Good evening. On behalf of the New England Foundation for the Arts, it is my pleasure to welcome the, the Nagash Ensemble from Armenia tonight. They are currently touring the U.S. through a program called Center Stage. Center Stage is a cultural diplomacy initiative of the U.S. Department of State's Bureau of Educational and Cultural Affairs. It is produced by the New England Foundation for the Arts with general management from Lisa Booth Management. Center Stage welcomes important voices into our cultural dialogue and shares diverse global perspectives directly with communities in the U.S. Following their performance tonight, the group will travel to Albuquerque and Santa Fe, New Mexico. The Nagash Ensemble is the 38th ensemble that has toured through Center Stage. In the past 10 years, we have welcomed dance, music, and theater artists from 14 different countries. Later this year, we'll host artists from Taiwan, Argentina, Ethiopia, the Philippines, and South Africa. We have been fortunate to have many of these groups perform here at the Millennium Stage. Thank you to the Kennedy Center for partnering with us to present so many of the center stage ensembles here in Washington, D.C. Tonight's performance features new music composed by John Hodian based on sacred texts by Armenian mystic poets with influences from Armenian folk songs and contemporary Western classical music. We are pleased to welcome the Nagash Ensemble to the Millennium Stage tonight. The creator of all creation got angry at us. The sweet divine nature has become bitter towards us. So many newly appeared young men were turned to the ground, and so many mothers who have lost their children grieved. Thank you. 
If in this world by sin you wander, O oh miserable one, you will regret the day of your death, and as if from a bad dream in the night you will awaken, but it will be too late. Gott sei Hoffnung, 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 Hoff
Whether you gain by all you do, if you are forced to live in a foreign land, and in the end all that remains is a shroud. Oh brothers, don't be foolish. Time passes, disappears. Not a day is left for us.
passing is the glory of this world. The churches and temples will all fall to ruin. But know this and be mindful of what you do, for you will live this life and enter the ground. Okay. 
bedang, te grof genos kan bochpares, maar in Tunis e Christus i kabel dar na.
Thank you very much. Uh, very quickly, because we're playing just briefly today. We have to wrap this up, I guess. So I want to introduce the band, because they're kind of a very unique and wonderful group of musicians. They're all playing these Armenian instruments, but they're playing them in a way you don't usually get to hear, because they've all been trained at a conservatory. They can play any of this crazy stuff I keep putting in front of them. And on the oud, one of the Armenia's truly master oud players, Adam Nagosha. And again, I, I, I tend to write everything out for everybody, but he just does whatever he wants because he does it so much better than anything I could write for him. Tigran Hof of Nesyan. You know, I'm a little off my game because yesterday, <laughs> we played in Montreal a couple nights ago, and then yesterday we flew to Washington from Montreal twice. Uh, the, the first time because we couldn't land, then the plane went back to Toronto, and then it went back to Montreal, then it came. Anyway, we're all a little sleepless, and normally, do, I, I forgot to tell you in the first set, although there wasn't a first set, but if there was one, I would have told you uh, that we're called the Nagash Ensemble because all the music we're playing is written by this Armenian medieval poet and priest named Mogadish Nagash. He's a very fascinating person. I'm not, I don't have time to go into his life, so you'll just have to trust me. He's very fascinating. <laughs> uh, and somehow I'm now going to segue into my duduk player <laughs> because he, uh, of all the instruments, uh, the, the duduk is truly the most Armenian sounding. You know, it really captures that haunting Armenian quality of, of a lot of this music. And we have a phenomenal, phenomenal duduk player, Haratun Shikalyan. <laughs> so I think that's it, right? <laughs> oh, that's right. Our girls. Uh, girls, right? All girls, women. Sorry, you're absolutely right. Uh, but, women, the one on the very end is singing so low. She sings lower than any woman I've ever heard sing and do it, does it incredibly well. Are there any Armenians here tonight, today? Aha, I thought so. This is Arpi Alto. Arpi Nedefetrosha. You know, when I, when I first moved to uh, Yerevan, which is like uh, 20 years ago, uh, Tigran Mansorian, who's a wonderful, masterful composer, said, if you ever want to have your music sung, the best, you know, for singing classical music, like the purest voice, is Tata Vikmasesian. I made a note of it. She's in my ensemble. Tata Vikmasesian. And I have to tell this story, just I don't know why, because I like to 
tell this story. When I first moved to Yerevan, I used to like to get out of the main city and, oh, I should also say, everybody here was born in Yerevan, lives in Yerevan. They're all Armenian Armenians. I'm one of those American Armenians, but I, I moved to Yerevan about 20 years ago. I used to love to get out into the countryside, into nature, because there's all these wonderful ancient monasteries there. I was in one of these monasteries. I'm just walking around. I was by myself in this beautiful place. I suddenly heard this incredibly beautiful sound. I mean, it was, it was like the most beautiful thing I ever heard. It was a voice. Somebody was singing. It, it sounded like some Hollywood thing or something, this beautiful, beautiful sound. That sound is what inspired me to want to do something, to create something that I, which eventually became the Nagash Ensemble. But anyway, I tell that sound because, I tell that story because that beautiful sound I heard <laughs> wasn't her. <laughs> no, it was, it was, Nag <laughs> it was, uh, what's her name here? <laughs> Hasmik Magnusatkin. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, Actually, just to, uh, a lot of what you know about Armenians, if you're not Armenian, is not true. Uh, I mean, it's not, it's, it's like 90% Kardashian, and I, I, don't know what, I don't know what you know. But I don't want to give you the impression from the music we've played and these heavy, heavy poems that were written during the medieval time. It was a really dark period when these poems were written. Not everything about Armenia's history is tragic and horrific and ending in genocide. There are some incredibly beautiful moments. Not that we re represent them today, but what we're gonna do is play a uh, Armenian lullaby, but we're gonna do it with a very unusual twist. Uh, this is a, a lullaby about a woman who's desperately trying to get her baby to go to sleep. You know, and if, if, you, have you, if you have any children, if you have a baby, you know, sometimes you just can't get them to go to sleep. This woman cannot get her baby to go to sleep. She tries absolutely everything. It's called Agvores. Thank you very much.
Thank you for joining us at Millennium Stage. For more information about the upcoming Millennium Stage programming, please visit us online at our website.